This video is not for the Christian who has abandoned the race or walked off the battlefield. Such a Christian has already admitted defeat. This video is for dedicated Christians who are still on the battlefield and want to fight the good fight, finish the race, and live victorious lives. Such dedicated Christians need to know the schemes of Satan to make them formidable on the battlefield. And so this message will deal four things. First, what target is Satan aiming at in your life? Second, what are the weapons he uses to attack you? Third, what is the purpose that he wants to achieve, and? Fourth, what are the defenses God has provided for you? The devil would do all in his power to distract you. For Satan knows, and he believes, that the truth shall set you free from his schemes. God says, Greater is he who is in you than he who is in the world, 1 John 4 4. Know that as a Christian, you are in Christ and have been delivered from the power of Satan. Paul says in Colossians 1 13. For he delivered us from the domain of darkness, and transferred us to the kingdom of his beloved Son. Armed with these fundamental truths, let us now begin our study. Before I continue, I have a favor to ask of you. If you have not already subscribed, please support our work by doing so, and share the video with family and friends. Thank you. As a child of God, know that you are not fighting for victory but from a position of victory. Because Christ Jesus has already defeated Satan. Colossians 2.15 says, Having disarmed principalities and powers, he made a public spectacle of them, triumphing over them in it. What is the target Satan is aiming at? Satan is aiming at your mind. When Satan wanted to lead Adam and Eve into sin, he started his attack on the mind. Paul says in 2 Corinthians 11:3, But I am afraid, lest as the serpent deceived Eve by his craftiness, your minds should be led astray from the simplicity and purity of devotion to Christ. Why is the mind important? That is where God communicates with you and reveals his will. Paul emphasizes the importance of our minds. And do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what the will of God is, that which is good and acceptable and perfect, Romans 12 2. God renews our lives by renewing our minds. And he renews our minds through his truth. This truth is the word of God. Sanctify them in the truth, thy word is truth, John 17:17. 17, 17. If Satan can get you to believe a lie, then he can begin to work in your life to lead you into sin. That is why he attacks the mind. And this is why we must protect our minds from the attacks of the wicked one. Finally, brethren, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is of good repute, if there is any excellence and if anything worthy of praise, let your mind dwell on these things. Philippians 4:8. Paul says, if it is not true, do not let it enter your mind. What weapon does Satan use to attack our minds? His weapon is lies, when he approached Eve he used lies. Remember, Satan is a liar. And Jesus said, there is no truth in him. When he speaks a lie, he speaks from his own resources, for he is a liar and the father of it, John 8:44. He first causes us to question God's word. Indeed, has God said. Note that he did not deny the existence of God. He did not deny that God has spoken. He simply questioned whether God had really said what Eve thought he had said. Once he got his foot into Eve's mind, he then shifted to the second gear. He boldly denied God's word. You surely shall not die. The moment we begin to question God's word, 
we are only a stone's throw away from denying it. Next, he substituted God's word. You will be like God. You see, Adam and Eve were already made in the image of God. So Satan tempted them with an even greater privilege, to be like God. Remember, that was Satan's ambition, to be like the Most High. He failed and so now he intends to let all of God's creation fail. Paul says, Because they exchanged the truth about God for a lie and worshipped and served the creature rather than the Creator, who is blessed forever. Amen, Romans 1.25. What is Satan's purpose for attacking your mind? To make you ignorant of God's will. Satan knows that God reveals his will to his children through his word. God's word is his primary platform to communicate with his children. Thy word is a lamp to my feet, and a light to my path, Psalm 119-105. If he is able to make you ignorant of what is in God's word, then you have no sure understanding of the will of God. God wants us to know his will. The God of our fathers has appointed you to know his will, Acts 22:14. God also wants us to understand his will. So then do not be foolish, but understand what the will of the Lord is, Ephesians 5:17. He wants this understanding of his will, to fill us and control us. We have not ceased to pray for you and to ask that you may be filled with the knowledge of his will in all spiritual wisdom, and understanding, Colossians 1 9. When we understand God's will, it leads us into doing the will of God from the heart, Ephesians 6 6. Christians who are ignorant of God's word, do not enjoy God's peace and his power. They cannot grow into their full potential, nor can they accomplish what God has planned for them. They live like beggars because they have cut themselves off from God's great wealth. But the one who does the will of God abides forever, 1 John 2:17. What weapon has God made available to us? Only the inspired word of God can reveal and defeat the devil's lies. You cannot reason with Satan. Man's wisdom is no match for Satan's cunning. Our only defense is the inspired word of God. Our Lord did not use his divine power to defeat Satan. He used the same weapon that is available to us today, the Word of God. Paul calls the Word of God the Sword of the Spirit, Ephesians 6:17, And the Holy Spirit can enable us to wield that sword effectively. If you and I are going to defeat Satan's lies, we must depend on the Word of God. We must know God's Word. There is no reason why any believer should be ignorant of his Bible. If we really want to know God's Word, we will pick up our Bibles and read. We have the Holy Spirit within us to teach us the truths of the Word, John 16 13-15. We must memorize God's Word. We must not only read the Word of God. Thy Word I have treasured in my heart, that I may not sin against thee, Psalm 119.11. We must meditate on God's word. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law he meditates day and night, Psalm 1-2. Do you sincerely delight in the word of God, or do you read it only out of duty? Do you rush through your morning devotions, or take time to feed on God's truth? The psalmist says, my eyes anticipate the night watches, that I may meditate on thy word, Psalm 119-147-148. We must use God's word. It is not enough to read, memorize and meditate on God's word. We must live out the word of God. The Spirit of God will enable you to use the word of God in the battle against the devil. We must begin to look at the world around us through the eyes of the Word of God. We must walk by faith, not by sight, 2 Corinthians 5 7. Therefore I esteem right all thy precepts concerning everything. 
I hate every false way, Psalm 119-128. God bless you.